They are some of this country's finest. Bravest. And fastest. Some misconceptions that folks may have about women serving in the military is maybe they're not as tough, but that definitely is not, not the case. And now they've become history makers too. Four Super Hornet jets streaked across the sky last month as the U.S. Navy conducted the time-honored missing man flyover. But for the first time ever, all of its pilots were women honoring a woman. I think there was a lot of excitement from all of us. Just wanted to make the Navy and everyone proud. Nearly 40 female members from Naval Air Station Oceana assembled on the ground and in the air. Their aerial tribute honoring the life of the woman who made it possible for them to take flight. When I joined the Navy, no one told me I couldn't fly in jets. It's women like Captain Mariner and her colleagues that paved the way for me to be able to do what I wanted to do uh, without being told no. Captain Rosemary Mariner was the Navy's first female jet pilot and a fierce advocate for equal opportunity in the military. The progress she made for women on full display as she was laid to rest. <laughs> The poetry of the moment not lost on the lead pilot commander, Stacy Utech. I definitely teared up a little bit as that happened, just kind of hit me. The gravity of the flyover, but in a good way. Today, the Navy boasts more than 52,000 women in uniform, many of them making strides in aviation. As a mom, I want to show my daughters that they can do anything and grow up to be anything they want to be if they put their mind to it. When I came in, I felt just like everybody else. I had a lot of female examples around me to just show me that I'm not different than any of the guys at work. These women are determined to continue breaking barriers as they live out Captain Mariner's legacy, proving the sky is the limit. Just being here and able to lead uh, women today and show them that they can do anything equally without any barriers is truly exciting. And now joining us live on the plaza, all the way from Naval Air Station Oceana in Virginia, the Naval Aviators and Sailors yes! from the first all-female yes! flyover team. They are Commander Stacy Utek, Commander Leslie Mintz, Lieutenant Commander Jed Hesley, Lieutenant Emily Rixey, Lieutenant Amanda Lee, Petty Officer Courtney Muhammad, Petty Officer Simone Clements, Lieutenant Commander Paige Block, Lieutenant Commander Danielle Theriot, and Lieutenant Christy Talese. Ladies, welcome. We salute you. We thank you for your service to our country. You are incredible. That is an awesome picture, you guys. We're so happy that you are here.